Let's give it back up for uh, Brendan really quick. Brendan! <laughs> Nixon. I am 21 years old. I go to the great University of Georgia Southern. Go Eagles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like in here, yeah, so, well, screw y'all. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so I am a mechanical engineer down there. Yes, an engineer. Thank you. Good people in here. Uh, but yeah, so I heard about this business two years ago. Oh. Crazy thing, when I heard about this business, I was that guy that thought he knew everything. I was mm. a guy walking around campus going, oh, yeah, I'm a big boy. I got a fraternity shirt on. You know, ladies, <laughs> where you at? You know, <laughs> you know? When I heard about this business, I was like, ah, this is a scam. Mm. It's a pyramid scheme. That's not going to work. You can't make any money. Like they said, it's too good to be true. That's what I was thinking. I was like, it's too good to be true to make money. Straight up. Too good to be true. Easiest way possible. So, I said, screw them, I'm not going to do it. This past summer, I heard about it again. From my great buddy, Cody, Cody Allison, um, he told me about it. He's like, hey, man, I'm going to this VEMA meeting. And I was like, wait, so you mean, you mean VEMA, right? And he, goes, he goes, yeah. yeah. And I, was like, I was like, well, if you don't go to it, because you know what's going to happen? You're not going to make any money. You're not going to go anywhere in your life. You're not going to do anything in the business. Dang. Mm. He goes, well, Todd, I'm going to still go. He still goes. But the crazy thing is, he still listened to me when he actually had his good friends, Trey Martin and Brent Nelson, which is his cousin, tell him that it can make him millions. It's crazy. Wow. Because of me. Sure? So five months later, he calls me up. He goes, hey, Todd, you know, I hope you don't hate me at all, but hey, I got started in Vima. I was like, pause for a couple seconds. And I was like, hey, man, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you do great. You know, I'm a very humble person. And I hope you got. I hope you just do amazing. Two weeks later, I go up for his twenty-first birthday. A. We're sitting at a bar. I'm about to tell you. I mean, we're at a bar and we're sitting there, and he's just buying shots. And for anybody that's twenty-one in here, that's a good situation. Um, he's just buying shots, buying shots. We're taking, and I'm like, you know, next thing I know, I'm like, kind of like, whoa. So where you get all this money for the shots? And he goes, hey, man, you remember that scam? <laughs> <laughs> I made $1,200 in yeah. two weeks. I said, yeah. Yeah. Woo -woo. I said what you know about that? Yeah. 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 I like this guy. He's following me everywhere. Uh, so I was like, holy crap. So I started talking to him for about like two weeks. Two weeks go by, and we're talking about every day. I remember one time we were sitting in the kitchen at somebody's random house, not even about this, and we were sitting there talking. He was like, come inside, come inside. I was just so focused on it. Um, but it got to the point where I went to church, and I remember I was sitting in church, and I was praying. I said, God, will Vima get me to the goals and dreams I want? It's going to help me retire my parents, travel the world, make money, and help people. Sir. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Is this going to help me help people? This is my true goal in life. I want to help anybody that needs it and that wants it. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. So I sat there, and, and it's so crazy. I'd say, in this business, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a reason exactly. why you guys are here tonight. Yes. So you'll, you'll hear it after. You'll feel it. Yes. You'll hear it. Yes. I walk out of church, and I'm going to a restaurant to wait for the, a girl to show up. And, you know? <laughs> um, thank you. Uh -huh. And the crazy thing is, a guy named Julian Torok called me. I don't know if you guys know him. He's very humble. Uh, <laughs> uh, but he's one of my best friends from uh, high school, and he literally calls me and he, out of nowhere. He goes, "Yo, dude, I heard you talk to Cody about Vima." And I go, "Wait a second, you do Vima?" He goes, "Yeah, man. I've been traveling the world. I've been making money. I've been helping people. Dude, let's meet up tomorrow." Wow. So I meet up with him tomorrow, and we're sitting in Chipotle. First off, Chipotle. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I can't say that word. Uh, the, awesome place and we're sitting there and he's talking to me and I'm like wow this dude's a lot different than I knew the funny thing is he left George Sutton because George Sutton wasn't big enough party school <laughs> that's, <the funny> thing. <laughs> that's crazy uh, but he's literally saying words I didn't even know he could speak Dang. the mindset he had was totally different it was about party 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 now it's about business 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 
And I saw that and I said, damn, that's awesome. So I sat there late that night, went out to an event that was 15 minutes away from where I was at, and I went to this sketchy basement. You guys are lucky. This is like walk-in door, nice area. You got fans going and everything. I walked into this basement, and there's like 40 people, and I had to walk in this back you know, corner and look, and there's a guy watching the anime on the computer. He was getting murdered and shit. And I'm like, excuse me again. I got to watch out. Uh, he's like watching it, and this dude gets murdered. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then so the crazy thing is, Julian speaking. Mm. And Julian's just going and going and I'm going. And I started to notice I started to sweat. <coughs> I was getting goosebumps. If nobody's getting goosebumps and sweating right now, I'm doing a horrible job. I was, <laughs> I was like about to take my shirt off. I was so fired up. He got done speaking, came on to me and goes, dude, how did I do? And I was like, dude, you did unfreaking believe. <laughs> and I looked at the face and said, you did unbelievable. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, the event ends and Mr. Austin Moeller was there too. You don't know who he is. You'll hear him later. Unbelievable guy. You guys are very lucky that he's here right now. Um, and he comes up to me and he goes, Todd, how'd you like the bottom? We start talking and everything. I go, hold up, Austin. I got to go throw out my gum really quick. Literally, this literally happened. So I'm going to throw out my gum and I'm throwing out my gum. And this guy goes, where are y'all going? And I go, I'm going out to throw out my gum. And I turn around. The dude has a walking stick in his hand. And I look up to him, his eyes are going all over the place. The dude's blind. Blind, straight up blind. I remember his friend was like, wave at his face. And I was like, <laughs> 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 he's like this is messed up. The dude doesn't do anything. The dude doesn't do anything. It's messed up. I'm sorry. You know, I'm that horrible person. You know, I don't know. You need me do it. You know, if you're right. <laughs> uh, So Austin goes, hey, hold up one second, Todd. We're going to talk. And I remember I was, when Nara was there and everything, and I sat down with all everybody on the team, and we were talking and everything. And Austin goes, I got to go show this guy a copy. Crazy thing is, I didn't know who he was grabbing. He grabs the blind guy, sits the guy down. Put that down. I remember Austin was just drawing it out. I don't even know why he was drawing it out, but he was still drawing it out. <laughs> and this guy's just hearing it, hearing it. And next thing you know, Austin goes, This guy's getting started. I sat there and I go, Holy crap. The blind guy that has no vision saw the vision of this company. Oh, wow. yeah. Saw the vision of this company where it's going to go. And I sat there at that moment and I said, I had to get started. Damn. Wow. Guys, I have never been so happy in my life. Who's loving life? Straight up. Woo! Woo! If you're not loving life, you will be after this presentation. I am not kidding you. I love my life. I painted it all day today, and I was so excited to come here. <laughs> you know? So, guys, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, thank. You. First off, I want to say thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, I'm telling you, you made one of the best decisions you could make. And the craziest thing, the next guy is going to come up, dude. It's un freaking believable. One of my really good friends. I kind of met this guy a couple of, a year ago, and when I first met him, I thought he didn't. Even, didn't have a voice because he didn't really say much. Uh, but, you know, it's so crazy now. I think he has a brother because we are going to war with each other. Straight up. In this business, we are going to fight with each other to be millionaires. Yes, fight sir. for the things we want. Yes, our sir. goals and dreams. And the crazy thing is, this guy's going to reach it yep. very soon. Yes, sir. Very quick. Because, you know, he's got a great heart, humble guy. And the next guy I'm about to bring up, one of my best friends, Mr. Trey Martin. Let's go! Woo!